recognizing faults in sake. Just like wine, there's going to be issues that come up from time to time with your sake. Those are known as faults. They cause off colors and flavors. Here, we're going to learn how to recognize them. Zatsumi, unrefined or undesirable taste. Balance or harmony is key in the requirement of sake. A disagreeable, unbalanced taste that cannot easily be identified as bitterness, astringency, or umami is referred to as zatsumi. Sometimes zatsumi results from the use of inferior ingredients or poor brewing techniques, but it may also be caused by poor control during distribution. If sake is exposed to light or high temperature during the distribution stage, the level of zatsumi will increase along with changes in color, aromas, and flavors. Light Strike Light is the enemy of sake. That's why you'll often see bottles of sake either colored or frosted. The amino acids and vitamins that are plentiful in sake degrade when exposed to light, giving sake an unpleasant, musky smell. Hineka Oxidized or stale odor. In addition to acquiring a caramel-like smell, sake that's stored under high temperature or conditions favoring oxidation develop an unpleasant smell, like rotten cabbage or gas. This is caused by sulfur compounds in the sake. It's believed to be emitted by substances resulting from the metabolism of amino acids containing sulfur. Musty or corky smell. Sake bottles are not corked, but sake may on rare occasions acquire a corky smell. Traditionally, sake brewing involves the use of many wooden items, and the buildings at many breweries are made of wood. If chlorine-based fungicide is used in the wood, Sometimes it's converted to TCA through contact with mold. This may contaminate the sake during the production or storage process.